people right, are going to trade What about trade quantum property. computing? You you mentioned that earlier. Do you think that uh, as quantum computing rises up, because recently the Google made the Willow announcement that it's able to run computation so much faster, um, will Bitcoin simply adopt a new security protocol? What will that look like? I think that that was a marketing announcement by Google. I mean, there doesn't seem to be any single practical application for the benchmark. So they created a quantum benchmark. They announced that they perform well on the quantum benchmark, but there's not any useful application for it anywhere in the world, right? That's the, that's the first observation. So you might be getting concerned, but no one's come up with anything they can do with it. So the second, uh, my second observation is, if you create a powerful computer, the very obvious thing you could do with it to make money is to mine Bitcoin with it. And so the first place to use a powerful computer is to mine Bitcoin, which increases the security of the network. My third observation is, if you really come up with a computer powerful enough to crack, crack cryptography, the first thing you're gonna crack is Google itself. Right? Do you think that Google would sell a computer that destroys its own network? Which is kind of ironic to me, right? Like if you're gonna crack, crack the cryptography, you would actually crack the networks that Google, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft run. And then you would crack every single government network and every banking network. And if you could crack all those networks, you wouldn't need to steal the Bitcoin. 99.9% .9 of the stuff in the world isn't in the Bitcoin network. And by, I don't think Google is selling such a device, right? I, I don't know what will happen, but the entire thing is a, is a little bit of a parody to me. Um, if we just Because you never think it's going to happen or because Bitcoin is nimble enough that when something like that happens, they'd be able to adopt a new security protocol? Uh, what I'm saying is all the existing news is just climatology alarmism where someone is saying, I invented a hyper powerful computer and then it's being used by an entrepreneur to market their new quantum token. Like I mean, the I get number that in the one short use term. of it. Well, that's why we're talking about it, right? The number one use of this is to actually market a, 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 a yo yo token that some someone has that has a quantum resistant algorithm and they're hoping you think that the quantum threat is a threat. I'm just going to indulge the fantasy for a second. Let's say sometime in the next 30 or 40 years or whenever it happens, someone comes up with a powerful computer, which we will call a quantum computer, which actually does something useful. And the useful thing is it craps, cracks cryptography then I would acknowledge it's a problem for the human race. It's, an, it's a problem for every government, every company, every individual. Because if I really can crack cryptography, that means everything that's digital in your life is now at risk. That means I can launch you know, nuclear weapons. That means I can take over the government. That means I can have the Interpol kick your door in and shoot you with a fake arrest warrant, right? So the point really is all of civilization breaks down into chaos if Dr. Evil gets the hypothetical quantum computer that works with that really does work. Let's imagine that threat. What's my response? The response is obvious, which is every computer scientist on the planet has a vested interest in upgrading the cryptography that we use to secure our networks and our systems. That the if if the quantum computer, the quantum chip that Google offered actually threatened cryptography, Google's own engineers would be releasing a set of, of uh, upgrades to their own encryption and they'd be huddled with Microsoft engineers right now because Google and Microsoft would be the two biggest losers. And if they didn't, Zuckerberg would be doing it at Meta. So ultimately it's not, uh, it's not a Bitcoin specific thing. It's a human race specific thing. And let's just reframe it as what happens if we come up with a computer that can break our current SHA-256 you know, techniques or our current cryptography? And the answer is we're going to upgrade it. We'll upgrade the software. Bitcoin is, a, Bitcoin is at its core, it's a protocol like English. 
like math. If I come up with a way to hack your phone and send a message from you to the government saying you're going to topple the government, I have corrupted your communication technique, but you're not going to abandon English, are you? Right? And if I come up with a protocol to basically put false numbers into your database, that might, doesn't mean you're going to abandon base 10 math. I mean, Bitcoin is a bunch of honest people, smart money. They all decided that they were going to store their money in a bank in cyberspace that they trust. The bank is getting upgraded all the time. The software is upgraded every year. The hardware is upgraded every year. And so the implementation of the protocol will change over time. And if there is a quantum threat, we will react to the quantum threat, just like if you were to go to the Microsoft shareholder meeting and said, hey, I heard Google just released the quantum chip and it looks like it's going to crack your cryptography and therefore should I sell my Microsoft stock and buy quantum yo-yo stock? I bet you Satya Nadella would say, no, don't buy quantum yo-yo stock because it's an overdone fear and quantum yo-yo doesn't actually have the support of every company on earth and doesn't have a trillion, multi-trillion dollar market cap and it doesn't have all of our engineers and everybody on earth hasn't decided to standardize their office products on quantum yo-yo whatever stock. They're using Microsoft. Don't worry, we're adults. If it does become a threat in the future, we'll upgrade our software to deal with the threat when it happens. For now, the reason people buy Bitcoin is it's better monetary protocol. And the reason that they use Google is it's a better search engine. And the reason they use Microsoft is it's a better enterprise software suite. All three of them have to deal with this uncertain thing we call the future. And I think that they'll probably figure it out. If they don't figure it out, right, then they'll be replaced with something better. But I, uh, but I put my money on Bitcoin first because the protocols, whether it's the metric system or the English language or base 10 math or Bitcoin, those protocols, they're the most durable thing in the human race and they will outlast the companies and the countries. All right. Makes sense.